What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'll give you my thoughts on the Giants' loss to the Eagles on Christmas. But before I get started, if you're new here, please subscribe, like, drop a comment, let me know your thoughts down below, and I hope you all enjoyed Christmas as well if you celebrate. So the Giants lost 33-25. to Although it sucks that the Giants just cannot win Philly, losing there for the 11th straight year now, or 10th, whatever it is, there were still a lot of encouraging signs during the game. The Giants were down 20 to 3 at halftime and it looked like there was going to be it was going just going to be another blow on Philly as usual. Tommy DeVito was also benched for Tyrod Taylor at halftime and then Taylor actually played well in the second half I thought. The Giants came back into the game with a few key plays. First, Isaiah Simmons made a great play on the opening second half kickoff by forcing and recovering a fumble from Boston Scott which set up the Giants at the 15-yard line of the Eagles. Simmons pushed Olimide Zacchaeus into Scott, causing the fumble. Several plays later, Barkley ran the ball in to provide the first Giants touchdown of the game. Then, towards the end of the third quarter, Dory Jackson scored on a 76-yard pick six, the Giants' third pick six of the season. Lastly, Tyrod Taylor connected on a deep pass to Slayton, who took it 70 yards to the house. So that's why I call it a moral victory, because pretty much everyone thought that the Giants would get blown out, myself included, yet they still show promise and hung in there. And also the Giants were 14-point underdogs heading into the game. But with that said, there was also a bunch of missed opportunities and miscues on, really on for both teams that, that essentially costed the Giants a win. At the end of the first half, Jalen Hurts for some reason slid down inbounds with about 10 seconds remaining after the Eagles had used all three timeouts, but then somehow the Giants were penalized for a defensive delay of game, and that stopped the clock with four seconds left, giving the Eagles a field goal attempt, which was obviously successful, when they could have escaped down 70 to 17 to 3 instead of 20 to 3. There were several fourth down conversion attempts where the Giants had a great chance to pick up a lot of yards, but the quarterbacks, whether it was DeVito or Taylor, just could not connect with their targets, whether it was Waller, Barkley, or anyone else, and that definitely left more points on the board. Another thing I just have to mention is the officiating in this game. I know the Eagles were penalized a lot, but there are still at least several controversial or questionable calls at best, and even some missed calls that really hurt the Giants. First, I remember in the third quarter when the Giants were down 20-10, to 10, they were attempting to convert, I think on 4th and 4, but then John Michael Schmitz was flagged for a false start, even though it looked like Jalen Carter had jumped offside, and that was a questionable call at best. On the broadcast, Dean Blandino, who was considered a Fox Sports rule expert, said himself that he did not think John Schmitz, Michael Schmitz committed the penalty. They, they, it was explained that the reason why they called it was because of, of the way Schmitz moved his head. But even then, Blandino said that it wasn't a penalty on Schmitz in his opinion. It was a penalty on the defense. So that forced them to punt away, and that took away another opportunity. Also, on the Giants' final drive when they were down 33-25, to there were two no calls regarding Wandale Robinson. He appeared to be interfered with, but there was no penalty called past midfield when the Giants were starting to drive. And then the final play of the game, he was literally pushed out of the end zone. But again, there was no penalty called. I'm not that mad ab about losing because I realize that there's no real benefit to the Giants winning at this point. But still, it was really annoying to see the officiating go very poorly. And then the refs did a very poor job in this game, and you really can't deny it. But with all that said, the Giants now hold the fifth overall pick in the draft, and I'll be happy with wherever they end up picking. Also, now it was announced today that Tyrod Taylor will start against the Rams, and I'm okay with that. Because like, if the Giants do lose out, I won't be upset, but I really just hope that Dable isn't fired because I don't want him to be the fourth consecutive head coach to be fired in two seasons or less. I don't think he will just because Joe Shane has control and Dable's his guy, but... But I would like to see the Giants win one of these last two games just to prove that Dable doesn't need to go. But we'll see what happens. So that'll do it for this one. As I said earlier, I hope you guys enjoyed the holidays. And if you're new here, please subscribe, like, drop a comment. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.